All right, here's another Schwinn Stingray video. This is the second bike that I ever motorized. Uh, also one of my favorite bikes that I've ever done. Uh, this one's pretty unique in my opinion. It's a Schwinn Stingray Typhoon uh, 20 inch, which uh, I have a very hard time finding this bike for sale or just finding it in general. Videos about it, anything. Uh, I got it off a gentleman for $70. He had it in his front yard as yard art and I saw the potential in it one day and asked him what he wanted. He said 70 bucks. I gave him the cash and it's been with me since. I've had this bike about a year and a half now. Um, the motor that's on it is actually relatively new. It had a different engine on it originally. Uh, actually this engine right here. Um, this is a BBC or BBR whatever they're called. I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> either way. Uh, yeah. This thing was a little monster, but the issue I ended up having with this engine is the exhaust bolts here stripped completely out on both sides, which uh, I didn't care for, and my exhaust kept falling off, and now I uh, just got to play with the tap and die set, and we'll have this puppy back up and running shortly. Possibly might be putting it on uh, a bike from one of my shorts, if you watched them. But yeah, uh, we'll get back to this thing and start talking about it. Um, one thing that I did that a lot of people probably aren't going to care for, <laughs> but I'm going to show you anyway, is the original chain guard used to be on that side, and it's right here. This is the original chain guard. I uh, butchered her a little and fitted it to this side because I thought it was more important to have a guard on the side where the chain actually could do some damage. Um, so yeah, I actually really like the way that turned out, and I think it's got a nice little look to it. But, uh... It's pretty traditional uh, bolt-on engine kit on a bike, except it's just a bike that I find particularly neat. Um, these are the handlebars that came with the bike. I was very happy with these handlebars. I'm hoping to get more like them soon. Um, it also came with this nifty little tag that I refused to move off of the bike. Um, it's a, it was registered at one time or something because it had a license plate and I think that's pretty neat and it's something I don't plan on taking off of the bike I think it gives it a little bit of character uh, as of now I got tires on it off of a more modern bike obviously the original rims and tires that came with this aren't on it I can show you them they're on a different bike those are actually right here so that's what rims originally came on this bike but uh, this seat is off of a different bike. This is off of a Schwinn Tornado Twin Bar, which I currently have stored over in this pile. I found another one that was slightly more damaged that I thought fit this bike better. So that's the one it got. And I really like this seat. It's actually rather comfortable and the little springs in it make for a good ride. Um, I'd recommend the stock Schwinn seat all day. Um, something I did to my carb. Uh, this is my own custom attempt at a velocity stack. Um, it probably does nothing. Uh, if anything, it might restrict my airflow. Who knows? But I like it. And I'm keeping it on there. So, yeah. Eventually, I'll have something that looks a little bit more professional. But for the time being, that's where I ended up. Uh, I don't run an air filter on any of my bikes. Uh, Anyone that says that's an issue, I beg to differ because I've had that one for 12 years and it's never had an air filter and or a problem. And the top and sides of the piston are spotless. And the cylinder walls still have like the original cross hatching in them. So I don't know what the hell people are talking about with that. So yeah, this tank isn't originally from this bike. It's from that bike, which was originally powder coated to match. Um, I stretched the frame and changed that bike all up and found that the tank from it fit this better even though it doesn't completely match it's still red on red and I like that uh, I'm sure you guys know about the pop can on the uh, exhaust if you don't there's other creators who have gone over that and I'll let them take credit for what they found out but I do prefer it I think it's a neat way to kind of hush it up with also opening up a little bit more flow through the exhaust so Definitely an improvement in my opinion. 
Um, these are the original front forks I was talking about in my previous video. I call them flimsy forks because if you look at mine, the one's a little bent. But, you know, I still got it rocking and rolling and riding pretty straight. It's noticeably bent and you can kind of feel it when you're riding it, but it doesn't bother me and it doesn't take away from the integrity of the bike in my opinion, so I don't consider it an issue. But yeah, this is uh this is definitely one of my favorite bikes. It's one that I've definitely ridden the most uh between the two engines that have been on it and it's still going strong. And I'm happy to have had the opportunity to show it to everybody and hope you enjoyed.